the EV war is already over. And the winner isn't Tesla, Toyota, or even the oil giants. It's a company that just pulled off the most shocking move in automotive history, a $30,000 hydrogen car that drives 550 miles on a single tank, refuels in five minutes, and could erase the trillion-dollar lithium empire overnight. This isn't a concept. It's real. And it changes everything. No one saw this coming. The auto industry was locked in its endless electric turf war, battling over charging times, battery chemistries, and shaving seconds off a recharge. Then out of nowhere, boom. BYD dropped a sledgehammer. Not a sketch. Not a concept. A real production-ready hydrogen car, under $30,000, with a staggering 550-mile range. Overnight, the rules changed, and EV dominance suddenly looks fragile. This isn't just another car launch. This is the biggest disruption the industry has faced in decades. And if you think this is just hype, stay tuned. Because over the next 12 minutes, you'll see why BYD's hydrogen gamble could flip global transport, energy markets, and even geopolitics upside down. The way BYD unveiled it was pure corporate theater. No leaks. No whispers. Not even a hint. Analysts who normally brag about inside info were left standing in silence. Then came the moment BYD's CEO on stage, declaring the end of the EV dominance era. Within hours, BYD's stock jumped $6 billion in value. This wasn't market hype. This was shock recognition, a seismic shift in the economics of clean transport. Because here's the truth, BYD didn't just reveal a hydrogen car. They revealed a blueprint to make hydrogen mainstream. The tech breakthrough. So what makes this different from Toyota's Mirai or Hyundai's Nexo? Price is one thing, those cars cost $60,000 plus. But BYD didn't just undercut them. They rewrote the entire engineering playbook. At the core is BYD's dual-phase hydrogen injection system, squeezing 30% more efficiency out of every gram of hydrogen. They cut engine weight by 18% with new alloys. Then solved hydrogen's biggest weakness, heat loss, by building a dedicated cooling loop that keeps performance steady in deserts and frozen highways alike. The result? Clean tailpipe emissions, just water vapor, and a hybrid assist that adds instant torque for acceleration. This isn't a science project. It's a production car that feels engineered like a weapon. The refueling advantage. But let's get real. Hydrogen's killer problem has always been infrastructure. So what's BYD's move? Two answers. First, refueling takes five minutes. Not 30, not 45, not even 10. Five minutes, and you've got 550 miles of range. That's faster than EV charging, cleaner than gas, and cheaper than any hydrogen option before. Second, BYD isn't waiting around for others to build stations. They've already partnered with CIPC, China's state energy giant, to roll out 1,200 hydrogen stations by 2027. Each one powered by renewable energy, each one able to make green hydrogen on-site. That's not just infrastructure, that's a parallel energy system. Industry shockwaves. The response was instant. Toyota and Hyundai called emergency board meetings. European automakers, already struggling with EV rollouts, looked at their hydrogen roadmaps and realized their years behind. Tesla, planning its semi-dominance, suddenly faces a competitor with refueling speed it can't touch. And oil giants? 
They've already started lobbying to slow hydrogen adoption, because if this scales, their power collapses. Battery suppliers are spooked, too. If hydrogen rises, lithium, cobalt, and nickel demand could stall, slamming billion-dollar mining operations. BYD's economic masterstroke. Here's where BYD really outplayed everyone. They're vertically integrated. They make their own motors, their own batteries, and now, their own hydrogen engines. That means lower costs, better quality, and zero dependence on foreign suppliers. They've locked in hydrogen contracts at under $3 per kilo in some markets that's cheaper than gasoline. Add China's $4,000 subsidy per car and suddenly that $30,000 sticker price makes perfect sense. Exports are already mapped out, Southeast Asia first, then Europe, then Africa and the Middle East. This isn't just a car. It's a Trojan horse for global market dominance. The performance proof. For skeptics, the real question was, can it perform? The numbers don't lie. 0 to 60 in 7.8 seconds. Top speed 118 miles per hour. Cold weather trials in Inner Mongolia. Zero startup delay at minus 30 degrees Celsius. No sluggishness. No stalling. Just instant readiness. And with hybrid assist, torque matches diesel SUVs on steep climbs. Yet inside the cabin, it's whisper quiet. Smooth. Almost surreal. This is not just an eco car. It's a driver's car. The bigger picture zoom out, and the stakes are enormous. Every hydrogen car on the road reduces China's oil imports. Every station built shifts leverage away from OPEC. Every fleet powered by green hydrogen bypasses the grid stress EVs create. This isn't just automotive disruption. It's geopolitical disruption. BYD isn't just selling cars. They're selling independence from oil, from lithium, from supply chains that once controlled the future of transport. In the first 24 hours, reservations blasted past 50,000. Taxi fleets, farmers, logistics companies, they all see the same thing, this isn't a gadget for the rich. This is a practical, scalable, everyday revolution. Some call it BYD's Ford Model T moment. Others call it the iPhone moment for hydrogen. Either way, the auto industry will never be the same. So here's the question for you, if hydrogen is clean, cheap, and as fast as gas, would you ever buy another EV again? Because one thing is clear. The hydrogen era has begun, and BYD just lit the match.